since our launch at the Hughes farm has been canceled. So I'm going to talk about something just as important, and that's my launch pad. Um, I have a launch pad consisting of what I call launch platters. This particular platter is actually a stainless steel dinner platter, so that works quite well. It's quite durable. And I have the launch rod mounted in here. And you can see there's a screw here and a screw here and another one here that holds it down to the PVC piping underneath. In the center is a leg bolt with a washer, and that's important because the initial blast hits this and it disperses much more quickly. And it's, it's better hitting this because it, it kind of makes it funnel outward a little bit more easily. Um, so underneath is actually quite interesting as well. So underneath, um, what I've done is I've used PVC pipe and I have, this is three quarters PVC pipe. In the center, I have a cross and the cross is nice because it gives me a flat spot to anchor the actual uh, the platter against. And I have, that's getting away from me. I have an elbow on this end and an elbow on this end. And the screws you saw before screw down into the elbow. And that's important for the additional strength. Um, the connection here to the rod is interesting. Inside of this, uh, it's difficult to see, but the rod is in there. Watch rod is in there. And I've got this clamp, which clamps this 3 8 inch pipe against the rod. So this pipe clamp then tightens and it holds it extremely tight. And that's extremely important because we don't want that rod to slide around at all. Um, what's also interesting is that um, this part is put together with no glue, but rather it's put together with pipe clamps. With the pipe clamps, this piece in the middle can rotate back and forth. So this gives me the ability to do a tilt back and forth on the launch pad. And this way I can aim the launch pad almost any direction that I want. Another addition to the launch pad is this 3 8 inch pipe that I have on here. This is, I believe, aluminum. It's hard to tell because it's so coated with soot and garbage. But the nice thing about this is that some rockets, they don't have fins that extend. So you have to have something to hold them off the bottom of the launch pad. And this works extremely well. Um, I have this. It's fire resistant and it helps to keep the rod from shaking. It works perfectly. I can fit all my rockets on here. Rockets with fins just straddle this. And if you don't have fins, it just stops right against it. It's really nice. So the last addition to my launch pad is this. These are two alligator clips, and they're soldered together back to back. What I like to do is I put the clip on the launch pad here, and with that clip on the launch pad, the top one is used to grip the launch wire. So the wire comes out of here, it goes up to the rocket. Just this clip anywhere you want along the edge, you can put the wire any place you want. It allows the rocket to be placed almost any place that you want. Really nice way to keep the launch wire in place um, and gives you uh, perfect control over how you want to position it.